this is another unscientific test with Pro Tools on a brand new 14 inch MacBook Pro running an M1 Max chip, 64 gigabytes of unified memory. Now we're running Pro Tools 2020.10. This is not actually supposed to be compatible either with Monterey. This is a beta of Monterey and it's also on a, an M1 Max chip. But about 700 audio tracks on this, which includes also instrument tracks with expand and boom. So it's quite a big session already and it's got Pro Tools plugins. Now, somebody said, could we record 16 tracks to see what would happen if we did recording on this without many tracks at the same time on this? So, uh, as I say, it's, uh, not supposed to be compatible OS. It's not a compatible chip and it's running via Rosetta. So I want to show you what I've done. Right. So let me show you the settings. If we look in the playback engine, 32 samples and lowest sample setting in the hardware buffer setting. We've turned off ignore errors during playback because we want to hear them if there are any. I'm going to turn off dynamic plugin processing because lots of the channels are muted and I'll doubt, and some would say, well, that means that they're not processing. So we're going to turn off dynamic plugin processing and that's how we're set. And now we have 16 tracks we're going to record and see what happens. See if it falls over. And there's no audio on this because uh, there's no interface plugged into this Mac. It's just going via, I'm just doing this with QuickTime. So here we go to recording. And as you can see, it's saying the CPU, uh, Pro Tools CPU meter half the time doesn't make any sense because it says it's 90%, but that's showing about 60%. And the moments when it says it's 100% and it obviously isn't. So you can see, I would say it's using about 70% of the power there right now, if, if less. Look at all the cores being used. As you can see, the meters are fine. Don't, don't forget, this is uh, not supposed to be compatible. The meters are moving without any glitching. It's recording without any glitching. It's not falling over. And right, I'm going to go in now, change another thing. I'll turn the dynamic plugin processing back on. Now you see, let it just settle down for a second. And we'll see uh, what else it can do. So now it's running probably even 50%, 720 plus tracks, plus 16 tracks in record, 32 samples as the buffer size. Uh, and uh, as you see, everything's nice. As I say, the meters are running. There's no weirdness on the meters uh, going on. Uh, it's all very smooth graphics. Let's open up the big counter as well. Yeah, that's smooth as it ever would be. Let's pop that into minutes as well. That's uh, feet and frame, I think, at the moment. Uh, it's bars and beats, minutes and seconds. Let's pop that into minutes and seconds. See what that looks like. And uh, once it's done that, then I'll also do some other stuff as well. I'll go back in to the other timeline in a second. And uh, let's just zoom in on that timeline to see what's happening on that timeline. We'll go to sort of bigger waveform and we'll zoom in and uh, see how that is that looks fine too that's as smooth as it comes so the timeline's pretty pretty smooth as it's running along there just to remind you again i'm on a laptop 700 plus tracks recording 16 more tracks on a 32 sample buffer and uh i don't know about you but that seems pretty smooth to me <laughs> <laughs> 